Hi guys, this is a snooker lesson with the student Solus. We are learning ball striking and cubo control. Nothing fancy, just putting learning positional play. Red ball close to the pocket and position for the blue ball. I'm going to share my thoughts and comments on what Solus can do to improve his ball striking and positional play. And hopefully you're gonna take something for yourself and apply it to the game. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the reason why you missed this shot, because you squeezed your grip at the end. And that's why the side spin started to work a little bit too early. That's why you hit it a little bit too thick. So this time, Aim lower on the cue ball and, and have a little bit longer pause at the back. And release, just like that. Still there is tension, but it's a little bit less. So a good stroke is like when you're releasing with your hand, you feel softness in your hand. So you aim, very important short, um, smooth backswing on this shot. Gradual backswing. And this time, I also had a short follow through. So I will repeat. Nice and loose grip and release. And that's helping you to hit the ball properly. Hi. Okay. So this time, side spin, smooth backswing, maybe a little bit shorter bridge, and release. You see? Much better stroke. So the reason why you got such a good spin also, you made your bridge a little bit closer and you made your back a little bit smoother. Okay. Look, your hand was totally open in the end, yeah. and then you squeezed. Less, less is more. Much better. And because you got a much better feel for the shot, you got amazing cue ball. Now we're gonna do a little bit different shot. This time, we're gonna play a little bit thicker. <clears throat> and you will try to use this time two cushions and to the opposite middle pocket. So long back swing, right hand side. Like that. That's, that's the purpose of this shot. So the easier version is to be start from here. is to get the point. So, once again, I'm gonna repeat. So, full back swing, touch your right hand side. And get the cue ball like that. Yeah. 
Well done. Can you play a little bit lower? So you could go a little bit more this direction. Okay, yeah, just play a little bit lower on the cue ball. And that was a little bit too high, that's why you got to that pocket. Lower, a little bit lower. I'm gonna change the angle so you could actually see more details. Okay, lower. And remember, from my experience, of course, everybody's different, but for me, it's like you have a little bit shorter bridge, hold your cue on the back, full backswing, pause, and that's how you get more backspin into the shot. Longer pause at the back. A little bit too quick. Okay. Lower, more side. Okay, there was a backspin, but just not enough. It's up. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Just one more time. Slower is better. Slower is better. If you hit too hard, the spin is doesn't react for this cushion. Mm -hmm. So if you have a long back so and you just release softly, automatically the spin has, starts to react, so like this. Automatically. If you hit hard, spin doesn't react that much. So that's, you know, that helps, you know. So, same thing, everything is good, just a little bit slower. You see it? That, that was a good shot, just you hit it a little bit too thick. If you hit it just a little bit thinner, it would be an ideal shot. Yeah, yeah, all good. To fin. getting better. Lower. Pause. Delivery. Yes.
Finally. Yeah, so, you know, you buy a practice and you can learn a lot. So another practice routine you can do is to practice putting cue ball to the specific zones. Let's say the ball is here. And first job is to put this ball and to get through the gap here. So I play. And you see, I play with too much stop spin. So next time I'm gonna aim a little bit lower on this table. So, just below center, and get through the gap. I touch it left, center. Let's try. Micro, yeah. So it was a good stroke, just a little bit too low. It's, it's a, like a punchy stroke, punchy stroke. And it's going this and that automatically. Okay, start from easier where to reach. It's just the same shot, and you try to get through this gap. No, sorry, from this gap. That too much side. So I'm just gonna aim a little bit higher. I got this, so that's got not good. So somewhere in between. That's again too low. It's a very good practice. Yeah, good. Maybe a little bit more, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, just too low. Around the center punch. Around the center punch. Because center, if you have play hard, it beca it's becoming a stun shot automatically. If you play around the center and just punching the ball. Too low. So you actually learn you lots of details about the cubo. I did the mistake, even me did the mistake, you know, so I just play around the center and punch. And it's becoming a stun shot. Too low. Higher. Almost like even above center it could be. Pause, longer pause at the back.
Yes. Yeah, it's all positive, you know, because if you are, you know, practicing, you're getting lots of knowledge about that. 